Welcome back to the channel guys, Coach Wan here again. And in today's video, we are going to be chatting about the mindset as a cricketer. I'm gonna be helping you break down your mindset by using three questions. The three questions you're gonna ask yourself is why, what, and how. Firstly, for the why. Okay, the why is probably the most important thing when you're playing sport, when you're playing cricket, and it's basically why you want to achieve what you want to achieve. Okay, so if you don't have a strong why, the what and how will be quite hard to achieve. So make sure your why is the most important thing. Um, I want you to start today and write down your why. Why do you run out? and bowl so fast? Why do you want to open the batting? Why do you want to achieve big in cricket? Okay. Why do you want to win a game? Secondly, your what? What is it that you're wanting to achieve as a bowler? Is it maybe taking five wickets? Is it maybe opening the bowling? Is it maybe swinging the ball more? Is it maybe developing an in-swinger? Okay, what do you want to achieve as a batter? Do you want to bat for longer periods? Do you want to block out the fielders? Do you want to be a consistent run scorer? Do you want to score more quickly? What do you want to achieve as a batter? And as a fielder, what do you want to bring to the team? Do you want to be the loud mouth on the team? Do you want to be that specialist cover fielder? Do you want to be that agile? person diving around, putting pressure on the fielders, saving those quick singles. What is it that you're wanting to achieve in your game to make you better? Once you have established your why and your what, the least most important thing is the how. I know in today's times, myself included, we focus on the how. How are we going to get better? What can I do? How can I bowl quicker? But once your why and your once you have a strong why and a strong what that you want to achieve, the how is the easy part. Your how can be broken down by using goal setting as your focus. So you can set how you're going to swing the ball by maybe bowling with the new ball in the training session, how you're going to leave the ball, maybe practice leaving balls against your opening bowlers in your next training session. So my challenge for you today is to try and use these three why, what and how in your next training session, in your next game. These three questions that you need to ask yourself does not need to start at the training session. That can be while you're sitting in bed, um, just heading off to bed. Start thinking about that. I think our mental preparation in today's game is probably of the most importance. Um, if you're mentally prepared for your next training session, if you're mentally prepared for your next challenge, if you're mentally prepared for your next match, I assure you that you're going to perform a lot better. The mental side of the game is something that every player, be it professional, club cricketer, schoolboy cricketer, is something that we need to continue developing. We go through tough patches where we're not scoring runs, where we're not taking wickets, where we're dropping catches, where we doubt ourselves. I think the one thing as human beings that we need to realize or something that we can improve on a lot is accepting failure. A lot of the professionals, Joe Root, Steve Smith, Virat Kohli, if you listen to podcasts, if you listen to interviews that they speak of, their number one and most important thing they try and overcome is failure and the fear of failing. If you don't fear failure, you will go out and you'll walk onto that field and you will achieve what you want to achieve. The most important thing that you can equip yourself with is confidence. If you give yourself confidence, you will go out there, back your ability, take on the bowlers, run in, bowl quick, take wickets. Confidence leads to success. Before your next training session or before your next game, I want you to do three things for me. Number one, write down your why. Write it down on a piece of paper. Stick it up on a wall. Make it 
be the first thing that you see when you wake up. Once you've, esta once you've got your why, then I want you to establish your what. Once you've got those two, you will figure out your how. If you've got any questions for me on mindset, please be sure to leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you aren't following me on Instagram, be sure to check uh, Instagram for some daily content. I'm also on Twitter and TikTok. So have a look at those social media channels. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to like and share with your friends and teammates. Also, please be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed that video on mindset and I'll see you on the next video.